She's the house hunting guru who's also the queen of handicrafts. And now, of course, festive season is almost here. Kirsty is back on our screens with her top tips for a crafty Christmas. It's not Christmas. I know, almost, almost here, I said. Christmas. Almost. December the 1st is when we should start talking about Christmas. Why are you here, Kirsty? You'll stop talking about Christmas. Oh, you're not going to calm him down. Raise my blood pressure even higher than it already is. Oh. Yes, honey bun. It's only three and a half weeks. Until <laughs> oh. Honey bun. It's actually three and a half weeks. Uh, that's not true, actually. It's four weeks yesterday. So. It's actually 27 days till Christmas. That is minus four weeks. We're now going into minus four weeks. Do you not think we should wait till December, at, the, at least? No, I, I don't put up anything or do anything till December. But the problem is that my Christmas show comes out tomorrow. Yes. So in my Christmas dress, <laughs> I have to come... You've come in dressed yeah. as a Christmas tree. <laughs> yeah. Haven't yes, you? I am dressed almost <laughs> as a Christmas tree. Can I ask you about Barbie for a moment? Oh, yes, go on. Just, <laughs> you know, the idea that everyone has to get outraged over oh Barbie God. being in a kitchen and it's pink. I mean, why do we care? Who cares? Why can't women be in a kitchen and why can't we like pink? From my perspective... Perspective. My sons like to do quite a lot of crafts and I'm often trying to buy craft kits mm. and often they are covered in pink, which does slightly irritate me. So isn't, mm. the, isn't the point then to de-gender pink? I, I think a little less pink. It's not a particularly nice colour, if right. we're honest. But my seven-year-old girl loves pink. She loves to go in pink dresses. Her brothers yeah. never did that. I've they bought... wanted to wear dark so they colours and play football and fight all day. I've, I, I bought uh, my niece, it's her birthday and Christmas, obviously, December, and I've bought her a few dresses, which I have to say I would quite fancy. There's a pink one. Ones. Pinkish on the pink side. <laughs> <laughs> um, your handmade Christmas is on tomorrow night. Who's got the time? Oh, no, snow To windows. cook? <laughs> no, not to cook, Piers. To do the snow, snow windows. trees on your snow window panes. Snow windows were so much fun. The thing about the time thing is none of us have got any time, so no. you find the time for the things you want to do. Yes. Like, I mean, origami stars. Who has the time for origami Christmas stars? Well, apparently we do, because you yes, brought this I have, Yes, <laughs> but it doesn't... The thing is, I think, weirdly, a lot of this stuff's quite relaxing and therapeutic. It's not about it trying to make yourself have a perfect Christmas. By the way, you two aren't sisters, are you? But we do look like twins. It's been funny, but particularly today with the hair. I wish, I wish. You are, my, look you are. Look, look, look. She is so glamorous. You are, you are glamorous. so glamorous. You are so lucky, Piers. Yes, look, I am. You but you're glamorous too. No, well, not half as glamorous as your two co. No, no. But you do look very similar today. We do. Senior I, hosts. We're sisters from <laughs> another mother, host, aren't we? Yes. The, um, there's a council in Durham that wants to get rid of. Well, is getting rid of Father Christmas and replacing him with Mrs. Claus on a charity parade. Because and obviously... Mrs Claus is the wife of Mr Claus. And she stays in the kitchen, doesn't she, Kirsty? <laughs> in the pink kitchen. Um, how are the iPads, by the way? Did you replace them? Because no. you smashed your children's I iPads, I smashed didn't my children. Yeah, I haven't replaced in them. A, in a fit of peak. In you a... haven't well... replaced them. That's interesting. So, go on. So, what was the reality of taking them away from kids? The reality was pretty fantastic. Yeah. And I kind of feel a bit boring for saying that, but we had a much better summer because all that negotiation had gone. The iPads had gone, so they couldn't say, oh, well, I'll help with this if you let me do half an hour of Fortnite, or I'll do this, mm. or I'll read if you let let me do this. We just did a lot more. They got back into their rollerblades and mm. skateboards and Proper stuff. guns mm. and reading. So here's my bugbear with you. Because I agree with all the furories that you fire up, right? What I don't agree with is the way you then back off and quit Twitter and get worried about the reaction. But, but, because but... I like you saying these things and you're right to say them. Why don't but, you own them? I do own them. I mean, I'm, I, I, I am absolutely... You get bullied off. You get bullied uh, off. Sometimes... I mean, the thing is, Piers, that you go into these things mm. and you really enjoy it. Well, I, I own the fallout because yes. I think you've got to... If you, you genuinely believe in something, don't worry about the Twitter yeah, mob. You yeah. are Because unique, the Twitter Piers. mob is just... Well, you no, I just think... The thickness think, of your down. skin is I want unrivaled. you to stand up to these <laughs> people it? and don't do. let them bully I, you off I, Twitter. I do stand up. I do... I don't... Whenever these things happen, I don't back down. I say the truth. But I don't deliberately go into them. And I think sometimes when you go into them by mistake, mm. the the reaction is or, quite yeah. a shock. Or you don't expect people to react. Exactly. Yeah. So, yeah. so mm. with you're much better at kind of thinking, right, I'm going to say this, and I know people are going to mind about it, but I don't care. Yeah. I'm going to. Whereas yeah. I don't think you should mind it. I don't think. Stirs or he, I don't yeah. well, yeah, but I always express honestly held opinion. Yes, people may so not like I. it. Yes. But actually, my opinions are a lot more popular than Twitter mob thinks they are. Mm -hmm. yeah. right? Twitter doesn't understand how Brexit happened or Donald Trump no. being president. Right. No. There is a whole world out there that's not on Twitter. No, absolutely. And and to be fair on Twitter, the, the thing with the iPads was uh, I said it on the Jeremy Vine show and, mm. and it was a general thing. And I think a lot of the problem is... But you were right to do that, yeah, I thought. But also, she's also right to take a step back from Twitter. 
If and now I'm, you now I'm... can't cope with that, uh, you take enjoy them on. it. You love all that reaction. Take them on. Sometimes we don't. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> stand firm. He was saying Twitter storms always blow out in two days anyway. No, they get bored right. and move on to the next they one. Get bored. Don't let the flamethrowers get but, you down. Because also... your, your instincts, I think your instincts as a parent are bang on. Oh, thank you. I do. Well, we've... And I, I like your firestorms. I think they create a proper national debate. And if you've got any problem with the Twitter mob, send them my way. Because I love taking them on. Pillars will organise a pile on. Yes. How are you spending Christmas? I now am, we have to talk I about I am it. spending Christmas... Uh, I'm actually abroad for Christmas huh? with my children and one of my stepsons. But it, for me, uh, there's uh, loads of Christmas in my life, which I really like. <laughs> yes. I really like that and it's fantastic. But by, you know, my Christmas starts on the 1st of October. And, and you're See, sick of it, Frank. No, 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 no. So you just know, right out of the country through my get mind. away from Christmas. I do, do. No, I have to say, I've got Christmas carols on Christmas mm. Eve with some friends in the hot place. You and I are actually taking part in something in Notting Hill for are a we? blood charity. I've oh, been drafted yes. in to replace. Are you doing that too? I've been drafted in to replace Nick Clegg. Oh, fantastic! Who bailed? As I'm, he always does. I'm, so I'm there. I'm doing food and drinks for forty people. I know you are. Bloodwise. And <laughs> David Cameron's there. Alistair Kidd's there. Hang on, I, hang, hang on. on. Sorry, I thought he was out in Nice with his trotters. No, on. his trotters have come back. David Cameron yes. is going to be in it. Are you going to talk I only to agree, him? I only agreed to do Can a reading. Send a I, the other readers were David Cameron, yeah. Alistair Cameron. I thought, blah, blah, I might be yes. I might be one of the more popular readers here. <laughs> I, I was so unaware of Nick who the other... pulled out. <laughs> I was unaware of who the other readers were until... <laughs> well, I've been oh, drafted goodness. in because I, a, a, the people who organise it, they're parents at my daughter's school. Yes. So I've been drafted in. And it's a, very, it's a great charity, it's Bloodwise. It's a great wise. charity, Bloodwise. We're going to raise it's loads of money. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, yeah, I get yeah. to read from the pulpit straight yeah. at David Cameron and I tend to ask him some tough questions. Yes, no, I don't, Almighty, I don't. and then afterwards at my house. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what, what larks? The, um, well, last thing I want to ask you, do you ever kiss your children on the lips like David um, Beckham does with his daughter? I... And his sons, apparently. I, no, I'm, I'm a terrible one for grabbing hold of my children and, and kissing them all over. Kissing them all over. Oh, not, I, don't the lips just freak you out a bit? I'm, I, a bit I, 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 I think. I think, to be honest, it's what you put on social media. It's not about yeah. what you do with your children. I agree. It's what you put but if on you put it on media. social media, you want us all to talk about it. David Beckham wants the world to know he kisses his daughter on her lips. Therefore, we are allowed to talk about yes. it, right? Yeah. He's I, told I, millions of people, I like to do this. And I just, it slightly weirds me out. Sorry. I, I, it I, just does. I think that people who are in the public eye have to be very careful to shelter their children yes. from... Uh, do you when you go to parties and you see someone across a room, like you yes, do I run? Sex, yes. Do you fast. run up to him and kiss him on the lips? Because I find that weirder. Oh no, 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 no! I would never do no, that. No, but apparently no. Piers is accosted by women running yes. across rooms. Always one at every party that goes for the full smack. Yes. The you go in for the sideways cheek kiss, and, and in they in come like a, like a heat-seeking missile. Mm. And you're like, hang on, we I barely know each other. It. Oh, no, no, that's quite... Um, I, yeah, intimate? Only, intimate, yes. Forward? There's only one person yes. who I kiss. Right, that's my lips. point. Your yes. sex your partner, right? Uh, well, uh, yeah, but it's a sexual <laughs> thing, isn't it? You know what, this it's is the use of the what? adjective, which is so unnecessary. <laughs> Why? Her partner. Well, as opposed to business partner. Let's not get into that conversation again. Your partner again. that you presumably have sex with, well, otherwise, uh, why are they your partner? Piers, I am not talking about these things on breakfast deli. You just are. So funny. You two, are, you two are quite sort of... You know what? You don't just look alike. you both got this slightly we're headmistress. we you both got this slightly headmistress, you know, we were head of school sort of feel. Yeah. And you're both weirdly squeamish and prudish, aren't you? So you can uh, make these origami stars. Really? Can, we just... stars. Oh. can we get back to origami, please, and stop talking about sex we at this time of the morning? We just like to keep it private. <laughs> As well, any normal uh, person would. Well, I never thought I'd say, Kirsty, but I'll see you in church I'll next see week. You in <laughs> <laughs> With the old trotters up. Uh, lovely to see you. It's, uh, <laughs> when, when, see when's you. your programme on? Uh, tomorrow night, 8 pm, Channel 4, all Great. about Christmas. And then for three weeks. We've right. made well, 16 will, hours of Christmas. Time. I will record it and watch it on December the 1st as a point of principle. <laughs> but it's lovely to see you. Thanks it's lovely so much. to be here. I keep fighting the fight on Twitter. You're, you're right about these things. Do not let the mob defy you or blow you off or course. Or defeat you. We must take on the Twitter mob at all times <laughs> because they're invariably wrong, right? If, you, if you're on one of the... If you're part of this Twitter mob, they're wrong about almost everything. That's why people like me exist. <laughs> Just to correct delete them. it for a while. I'm totally yeah. with you, Kirsty. Yeah. But then we are twins.